Hey guys, this is Tom with CellPhoneTrack.com and today I have the HTC Thunderbolt 4G for Verizon Wireless. We're gonna, it's been a really great device. I've really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the blazing fast 4G LTE speeds. Something I can't say about AT&T devices currently as their HSPA Plus network is not on. Um, so fail, basically fail, fail, fail. Uh, but for the win, we have Verizon's LTE network running on the Thunderbolt by HTC, really great device by HTC, um, and I'm really glad that they paired with Verizon for the uh, LTE network that they have. So let's get to the review, I'll stop talking here. So let's get to it. So here we go, a very basic device. It's uh, Android 2.2 running Sense 2.0. How is it running Sense 2.0? Well, you can go ahead and get in through here. You know, you have your multiple home screens, things that we've seen before. You go in here and you can personalize though. You have your screen, your wallpapers, your skins, your widgets, your apps. Um, just making, you know, HTC making the device easier to use uh, for you, the consumer. Uh, it is a Wi-Fi capable device, uh, BGNN capabilities. Uh, it does have blazing fast 4G speeds. Let me go ahead and show you that in a speed test. Um, go ahead and begin the test here. You know, shoots right out of the gate. We've got, you know, I've got, actually have zero bars of service in here. And it's still, with zero bars of service, I pulled 5.2 or 5.12 megabits per second. That's zero bars of service. Now I have one bar. And there it goes. Yeah, it just comes right back to life. And it's 34.4 megabits per second upload, which is, I don't know, 100 times better than what I get at home. So, and I have really fast stuff at home. I'm supposed to at least. Stupid Time Warner cable. Anyways, um, good thing I don't review stuff for them. Um, again, that's their blazing fast 4G speed. So we'll go back home here. Uh, we'll actually show you, uh, it, it does support flash content, so let's come over here. Nope, it was on the other side. Browser, internet. So here we go, here's our website. Again, one bar, of, you know, one bar on their 4G network, and we are going fairly fast here. Uh, we have a flash player on our website, and it still loads incredibly quick. I can't, I can't even tell you how impressed I am with this device. So go ahead and turn the music volume up here. Now this is one of Brandy's news videos coming up. Brandy here with more cell phone news. Speaker quality is great. For a kickstand here, so I can just go ahead, turn it down. Pinch to zoom. So I can go ahead and watch beautiful Brandy here. Amazing great video so quality. So we'll just go ahead and pause her there real quick. Uh, full pinch to zoom capabilities, obviously uh, Android 2.2, flash capabilities as well. Um, you know, going along very fast, very little lag, if any lag at all. We'll go back. Uh, mobile sites are even better than that. We don't even have a mobile site yet. So let's get out of here. Uh, 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, really well. Voice quality, call quality on here was crystal clear, amazing, and never had any drop calls, never had any issues of anything like that. Uh, general overall usage was good. Now, when I went inside buildings like what I'm having now, I did have a little bit of an issue. It wasn't, you know, but it's to be expected, you know. The signals are designed to penetrate air, not solid steel. You know, it's just to be expected, but if, you know, if you're in the urban jungle, as they call it, it's something to definitely look out for, you know. Um, you can go to verizonwireless.com and they should have a map as well to let you know if you're in a 4G area, uh, if they have 4G has been unleashed, as they like to call it, in your uh, neighborhood. You have your camera here, uh, 8 megapixel, dual LED flash. You also have, um, go into menu, 
switch camera to the forward facing. It's a 1.3 megapix 1 megapixel forward facing camera. There's me. Hi, me. Hi. Anyways, and you can just take a picture real quick like that. And go back, hit menu again, switch to the forward face, uh, rear facing camera, tap, autofocus, take the picture, automatic flash, and there you go. Daylight, nighttime, uh, sunset, this thing, this camera could take it all, it was really good. Has a digital zoom as well. You can control with the uh, volume rocker bar, as you can see here. So, let's go ahead and focus on there. Should be, yeah, the flash, you know, obviously I'm like this close to the ground. It's not gonna be the best picture ever. But, you know, if you're trying to zoom in maybe on a group of friends at a bar or something, definitely something to take into account. So here we go, pull it out a little bit, hit this, brings you into your past cameras. So there's the zoom, that's the thread in this uh, cloth that we use. That's the thread that you can see. That's how amazing this camera works. Um, so it's super fast, it can handle anything on the web. It takes amazing pictures, it's blazing fast, has great voice quality, sound quality. You have all sorts of different applications that you can use. You have full Android market, Sense 2.0, extremely customizable as well. Um, you can go from your scene to the HTC scene to maybe your social to work. Let's apply work in here. Um, so I've, you know, I'm at home, I have the weekend, I'm going to work. Now I can you know, get my Eastern time, my you know, Greenwich Mean time, get in here, add my contacts, turn on my Bluetooth or my Wi-Fi, all sorts of different weather stuff. There's a weather app right there, you know, maybe I need to know what the weather's gonna be like in the city I'm going to or the city I'm in. Um, my stocks, mail, my HTC calendar. Really love HTC's calendar. It's uh, personally one of my favorite uh, calendar interfaces for a smartphone out on the market currently. Um, and it's got uh, eight gigs of internal storage and will hold up to 32 gigs of storage on a micro SD card. And so that gives you a total of, what is that kids? 40 gigs of internal storage and only has 768 um, megs of RAM. So you know, a little on the low side, it's not a gig like we've seen uh, with other devices coming out, but it's still an amazing device. Uh, you can change your wallpaper around a little bit to pictures that we've taken. Let's go ahead, change it to searching for video, uh, videos and stuff. So all photos, let's go ahead, take a picture of that. You know, you can move it around, go in here, save that. It's going to crop the photo and it's going to turn that threaded background that we have into the background of the phone. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, 1.3 megapixel forward facing camera used for uh, video chat capabilities, you know, you know, face shots. So here you go. You know, we've got the picture all right there. You know, maybe you can take a picture of your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, whatever you got, and you can put them on there so you can see their smiley face all the time. Or you can cover it up with apps or mail or it sucks or calendars. Overall, and it's got, like we said, we got the kickstand here, the speakers underneath there as well. Um, it's got a, it's got a smaller battery. I had about mm, six hours of use every day when I was testing it out. That's about as far as I got out of it. Overall, very well-rounded device. Definitely something you need to check out. Um, but again, it's the first 4G phone. You know, more will be coming. So. If you want, hold off a little bit. It's a really good device. If you need a device right now, you know, you just broke your Droid X and you need to get something today, definitely check this device out. You know, if you got six months left on your contract, you know, you know, don't maybe, you know, run out and try to buy this and, you know, pay a little extra for it. You know, see what else is coming out here in the future. You know, worst that's gonna happen is the price of this phone's gonna drop and then you can have it. Um, I have heard rumors that 2.3, Android 2.3 will be released for this device, so check that out. 
uh, we'll check us out. We'll have more rumors and we'll have, when the official update comes, we'll go ahead and release that for you. So again, I'm Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com and I say thanks for watching. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Check us out there at CellPhoneTrek.com and Facebook.com backslash CellPhoneTrek. Like us there and you'll be privy to some of the free giveaways that we'll be doing. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you have yourself a great day.